Hey, welcome to Kevin's European Garage, and today is Extreme Experience. So this is what I'm gonna have for today. So welcome back to Kevin's European Garage. And today I'm gonna to talk about my experience at Extreme Experience. So if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. And I also hope that you like this video to show support for my channel. So Extreme Experience is where you can go to drive your favorite supercar around the racetrack. And I was lucky enough that my wife for Christmas got me a ticket for Extreme Experience where I chose to drive the uh, Ferrari 488 GTB. I thought it'd be something pretty cool. I, you know, I mean, I have a 911. I thought about getting the GT3 RS, but there's a possibility that I might get some more experience in one of those and probably never gonna get a chance to get into a Ferrari like that. So I figured I'd just have some fun in the Ferrari. So this is how it goes. First, you get in, you check in, and then you go to a driver's education class. And in that class, they go over basically what they expect from you as the driver. They go over what's going to happen to you if you uh, crash the car or damage it or anything like that pretty briefly. And they go over the basic uh, hands gestures and basically what the driver instructor is going to do for you around your three laps around the track. So one thing I will suggest is that if you're going to do this to give you the opportunity to uh, drive with the uh, pace car around the track with a little ride along, I highly recommend it because it made it a lot easier when going on the track for the first time it wasn't actually inside the ferrari for my first three laps i've already had seen it with the pace car and it was uh it was a really good experience to watch some guy throw around a uh, dodge charger uh, hellcat like he was doing i mean the guy was pretty good definitely an experienced driver because he was pushing that car uh pretty decent around the track so what i thought of the ferrari 488 gtb i mean unfortunately it was just only three laps around the track so i don't really have a really good feel for the car but one thing I will say about that car is that uh, it was really well balanced. I didn't feel like the car had it was tail happy. I didn't feel like it was understeering going into the turns. The brakes felt really good. They felt really strong. Uh, based on what the instructor tells you, you know, he, he tells you when to brake. He tells you when to accelerate, when to lift off. So I was listening to him kind of braking, maybe a little bit early, but I was listening to him when I was supposed to brake. And I can tell you that the car had a lot of brakes in it. I mean, it was just like I would hit the brakes and I felt like I was braking and slowing down too early. I could have definitely gone a little bit further. But that's the thing. They set up the track for basically, you know, people that are not experienced whatsoever so that they don't get in trouble. So they, uh, you know, they kind of had to follow that uh, that setup that they have for it. So I could see why, if you know, if you have some experience driving around a track or anything of that sort, you're going to... Um, you're going to find it that you could probably uh, break later and, you know, start accelerating faster. But I kind of, I just listened to the guy because I thought it was the safest thing to do. And plus I got the uh, full insurance on the thing, but even with the max insurance on there, the deductible is like $6,000 and I didn't want to have to deal with anything going wrong on that car because the guy was explaining in the, uh, you know, in the information session that just the front lip on it was like $16,000 before it gets painted. So yeah, I don't want to have anything like that happen. One thing I will say about the Ferrari is that you can definitely feel the turbo lag though, as you were uh, going around the track. I mean, I would hit it, it would take off, and then all of a sudden you can really feel when the turbos really kick in. I mean, I don't know what RPM it was. I mean, I wasn't looking at the, uh, I wasn't looking at the dash at all. My eyes were straight ahead the whole time, as you'll see in the video after this. But I will say is that if you're thinking about, you know, you can be in a couple of different situations. If you just want to go out and have some fun, you know, drive some cars that you probably, you know, would never be able to purchase. This is a great way to go have some fun and do it. It's a little pricey, uh, you know, on top of getting the car itself. I paid for the insurance. I got the video package and then I went along. I went for the ride along also. Uh, so, I mean, it adds up, but it's definitely fun. And it's something that, you know, if you, yeah, I would definitely recommend if you can, uh, you know, if you got the means to do it. So getting back to the Ferrari and how that thing handled, I tell you, I mean, that, that car was, it's pretty amazing. You know, how fast it is, 600, like what, 70 something horsepower, 660 horsepower that thing's got. 
Uh, it pretty much feels like it's going to turn on, a, turn on a dime. I forgot to look at what tires are using on that car because I really want to put them on my 911. I think uh, the tires I got in there are garbage compared to what they're using. And uh, yeah, I need to get those tires on my car. Definitely, it would be a massive improvement. Like I said about the Ferrari, I mean, the thing was just, uh, I mean, it's pretty wild. I mean, the acceleration was pretty awesome. Um, the handling was great. Like I said, it felt like it felt very neutral. And at no time when I'm pushing the car, did I ever feel like I was going to lose control over it or anything like that. It never felt like it was anywhere near what the limits of the car were. I mean, that thing could be seriously pushed and driven really harder on that track. And, uh, you know, if I if money was no option, I definitely probably would have definitely pushed harder. But obviously, if something happens, I don't want to have to pay for it. So even with the $6,000 deductible, I still don't want to pay for it. So that's why I didn't push it too hard where I definitely know I could push it a little bit. All in all, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. That car, this is, uh, you know, I'm still, afterwards I was still really amazed about how good that thing handles. And, uh, you know, I've never driven my 911 around a track, even though it's a 996, it's got like half the amount of horsepower, weighs maybe about 300 pounds lighter, but it's still nothing like that would ever be. All in all, I mean, I think that the Ferrari 488 is just a, it's a really good car. I mean, I love to get it on the road, open it up a little bit and see how comfortable it is. I mean, going around the track, it actually felt pretty comfortable. It's amazing what you can do nowadays with a modern car like that, where you can have it go around a track and be like really fast, really balanced, uh, handle it incredible and yet be very civilized to drive it around the car, down the road with a, like, it was just like a regular car. Like you get into like a Kia and just drive it down the street. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. So coming up now in the video, this is where you're gonna get to see me drive around the track in the Ferrari. I just 
just uh, hope I uh, can get some fun with this thing. I don't want to be too nervous. <laughs> no, know? man, don't be nervous. I've got your back. I've got your six. You've got the front. Go ahead and follow 03 all the way on up.
a pass in just a minute. I'll let you know when. Orange cone on the outside, back to the green cone on the left hand side. Gavin, nice and smooth around to the left. Pass him. On the which side? On the left hand side. Good to go, continuing up the hill. Orange to green on your side of the track. Eyes are up, go ahead and accelerate out to the outside. Nice and smooth, Kevin, let's go. We're gonna bring it back on over to the right hand side. Stay tight to the right, remember to my side. A little touch of the brakes, stay over here. Now we'll bring it back to the left hand side of the track. Bring it down to that green cone on your side of the track. Eyes are up, a little lift, a little squeeze on the brakes. Release the brakes, bring it up on over to the right hand side. So he's going to keep going, but we're going into the pit lane because he's okay. locked down. Back on over to your side of the track. Eyes are up past the Sunoco side. There'll be a blue and orange cone. So we're going to go back on over to the left-hand side through the blue and orange. Nicely done, Kevin. Nicely done. Uh, Stay all the way over here to the left of that little orange cone. Left of this one? Yep. And my friend Kay on the left-hand side will take your photo over there. We're going to stop when you and I are parallel to the cone. Three, two, one. Good dinner. Three. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the driving portion of it. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, like my video, and thanks for all the support on my channel.